In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make four options book style infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, the first option comes. You can see here in form of a book. You can just put your concept one along with the icon. Then you can add the detailed text here. Again on a click, it will show me the concept two. Then the concept three with different colors and then the concept four. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background color to a light gray color. Then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much size and shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. I'm going to select white color. Let me just increase a little bit more. And then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the rectangle once again, draw the rectangle, make it somewhat outside of the white rectangle. Then shape outline, make it no outline. And I'm going to give a gradient fill for that right mouse click, go to format shape and select gradient fill. And by default, you can see here, there are four stops. I'm going to delete the two select and delete again, delete this only two stops are there. And I'm going to select this top, go to more colors and choose any color of your choice, whichever color you like it. For example, let me just select this one along with some this color. You can see here and direction you just select this one, which is the linear right or the other side, other way also you can do it. You can select this also. And once this is done, go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the right triangle, draw the right triangle. You can see here, maybe this much size shape outline, make it no outline and give some light gray color. Can you see like this and go to rotate? I'm just going to rotate flip horizontal. You can see here. Let me just zoom in. It looks something like this. If it is uh, blending with that one, you can give somewhat darker color or you can give some gradient color also here. For example, I want to select, say a gray color along with maybe a more darker color or whatever. You can change the direction also. You can see here whichever direction you need, you can just change it. And I want to add one more page, press control D to duplicate it. You can see here again, bring to the same position increase the size you can see here and reduce the width and send this to back so you can see here we have added two pages here and now you can add the text go to insert text box just type for example option 01 bring it here make it white font use some nice fonts i'm going to use oswald And if you want to increase the size, you can further increase it. And here you can add some detailed text. So you can add your detailed text, make it center align if you want, reduce the size and font. I'm going to use some light color so you can see here. And I'm going to just give the shadow effect. Just select this go to effects shadows and select this particular bottom right you can see here and if you want you can give some shadow effect for this also for example let me just select this and give some shadow effect you can see here i can give something like this if you want the same i'm going to select or you can just select something different also like this also you can make it for example i'll just select this and I'm going to select this so you can see here it created the shadow effect now once the design is done just select all highlight it press ctrl G to group it bring it the left side press ctrl D you can see here you can add the second third and if you want you can add a fourth also okay now you can just change the option to two three and four as you can see here the space is not 
enough i'm just going to select all let me just move it a little bit press ctrl g to group all and then i can hold the shift key and reduce the size you can see here you can reduce the size something like this and then ungroup it right mouse click ungroup and change the color of the option so i'm going to select some darker color here maybe blue along with i will just say this color so you can see a different different color combination you can choose so you can see here i've just changed the colors now it's time to do the animation let me just close the format background select this right mouse click ungroup it and i'm going to group only this part for example one two three and four press ctrl g to group it you can see here and then for this i'm going to go to animations tab enable the animation pane click on add animation i'm going to select more entrance effects and select the stretch click ok and effect options say from left so it comes something like this and then i'm going to select this animation painter i'm going to click on the first one you can see here again animation painter i'm going to click on the second one and this one should happen after previous this also should have after previous so if i play it comes something like this you can see here so likewise you need to do the same thing again ungroup this let me just show you one more time i'm going to highlight all this by holding the shift key and press ctrl g to group it then again use this animation painter so it comes something like this and then second one and the third one so you can see here if i play it comes something like this that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye